Hi, this is Romain Fontine from IAG Innovation Institute. And in this video, I will give you a short introduction on one of our research projects, the Internet Health Report. In this project, we design tools to get better insight into internet topology and internet performance. These tools are based on open data sources like Rob Views or Ripe Atlas, and all our results are freely available on our website. For example, using BGP data, we've designed a tool to measure how networks rely on each other. We call this network dependency. Let me show you an example on our website and check the dependencies of the University of Tokyo. We see that the university's autonomous system depends mainly on two other networks, Synet and NTT. That means these two networks are commonly found in AS passed toward the University of Tokyo. Now, looking at the details in the table below, uh, we can also see that BGP, in BGP, Synet appears directly connected to the University of Tokyo, but NTT is not. So that means that Synet is the main provider used by the University of Tokyo. And if we look at Synet dependencies, uh, we find that NTT is the main provider for Synet. So using this tool, we can identify important upstream provider for network, even if there are a few hops away. This is a good piece of information for anyone willing to peer with this network or willing to improve resiliency of this network. In our research, we use this data to monitor routing events like BGP leaks or outages. We also have other tools to monitor different properties of a network. For example, we monitor network latencies from trust route data. This helps us to assess the impact of different types of events that can happen on the internet. Here we have an example of delay increases that happen during a cloud provider outage. And these are daily congestion observed during national lockdowns related to the COVID-19 outbreak. This video is just a very quick overview of the Internet Health Report. You can find more information about this research project at ihr.iagelab.net. Thank you for listening.